It's easy. Anyone can do it. You don't need skills. You don't need experience. You can make thousands of dollars in your sleep. If you're not making thousands of dollars in passive income, then you're a loser. Nonsense. When I was researching videos of a similar title to this one, I was absolutely blown away with how easy and effortless people made it seem to make passive income through side hustles. The amazing thing is that a lot of your side hustles that you start now small will grow into incredible empires, multi-million dollar empires. Not might grow if you dedicate yourself and work your tail off will grow into incredible empires. That's nonsense. Let's take a look at real ways to make extra money in your 20s, which also work in your 30s and 40s. My name is Dav Morse. I'm here to educate and inspire you to make the most of your money, to live generously and impact the world beyond just yourself. Now, if you're here because you want somebody else to pump you up and tell you how easy it is to make passive income, then you might as well go and watch somebody else. <laughs> If you're here because you want to learn some solid practices that will serve you way beyond your 20s into your 30s and 40s, then listen up. If you want to make extra money in your 20s, then the number one thing that you need to do is set yourself up for making more money. The first five of these are going to be more long-term plays, but it's positioning the pieces ready for an awesome end game. I've been watching some chess on YouTube recently. They won't necessarily make you a massive amount of money in your 20s, but they will certainly set you up in your 20s for massive financial success later on. The last five are ones that you can start using straight away that will put money in your pocket today, maybe tomorrow. They might not be as lucrative in the long term as the first five, but they will certainly help get the first five to work for you. Like I said, when I was researching this video, there were a few things that came up over and over again. There was drop shipping, there was Amazon FBA, start a blog, and of course, starting a YouTube channel. To start a YouTube channel. Start a YouTube channel. Start a YouTube channel. I can tell you, if you're seeing somebody pumping, starting a YouTube channel as a way of making passive income, you are watching the successful few. You are watching survival ship bias at its best. There are millions probably of people making YouTube videos week after week that aren't getting the traction that they want or maybe even deserve. So here are 10 ways you can make extra money in your 20s that also work in your 30s and 40s. Number one, decrease your temporal preference. You know what people hate? Making hard choices that make their life easier in the long run. We are hardwired as human beings to desire things immediately, to not delay gratification. I want it now. The most important thing you can do in your 20s to increase the amount of money that you make, decrease your temporal preference. Having a high temporal preference means you want it now. So if you can decrease that, meaning you can put off into the future things that will benefit you, that is the one thing that determines your success when it comes to your finances. Number two, work on your career. The thing that most people on YouTube don't focus on is the fact that your salary and how much you save from that is going to be the biggest determining factor early on. You might earn a few extra hundred pounds by working your tail off at a side hustle, but if you can manufacture your career so that you earn higher wages, then that's going to do you much better off in the long term. It's way more sustainable. I can tell you now, you're probably not going to want to be working for Deliveroo, delivering food to people in your 40s because you have to make ends meet. If you choose to do that because you're creating a life that you don't want to retire from and you want to get paid to ride your bike, then that's a different thing entirely. Don't get me wrong here, I am not saying work a job that you hate just because it pays you a lot of money. In fact, when I graduated in financial mathematics, I chose deliberately not to pursue a career in finance because of the type of people that I would be coming into contact with, the type of people that I met on my course. But what I am saying is do your absolute best to maximize the remuneration that you can get in your chosen career. I didn't really follow my own advice here because I really didn't want a career in teaching. I was happy enough doing what I was doing until I was ready to move on and do something different. I didn't have the drive and the desire to climb the teaching career ladder, getting head of department or heads of year or deputy head. I didn't have that drive in me. But what I did do is start with a decent-ish paying career, which gave me a head start financially compared to some of my peers who were working in McDonald's or in Argos or bumming around. Work hard to get yourself a decent paying job early on and it'll pay off in the long run. 
Number three, start investing. Now, if the biggest resource that you have available to you in your 20s is the amount that you save, then the absolute easiest thing to do to start putting that money to work is to invest in real estate, in stocks, in crypto, whatever it is, but put your money to work. If you don't start investing in your 20s, you are literally turning down hundreds of thousands of pounds. Check out my video on financial mistakes to avoid in your 20s for more details on that. This may start out small. This will, in fact, start out small. But the more you keep at it, the more persistent you are, the more that you put away, the more chance it'll get to grow over time. And in the end, you'll probably be earning more from your investments than you are from your day-to-day -day job. It may take a couple of decades to do this, but by the time you're in your 40s, you will have so many options. You can get started with investing in stocks with my link to free trade and to stake, or you can start investing in crypto with my links to Coinbase and crypto.com. You know what to do. Number four, buy a house. Your house will always be a drain on your money. There will always be things that you need to spend money on, that you need to improve, that you want to improve, that you think are out of fashion, that you need to update, or whatever it is. There will probably never be an end to the amount of money that you could spend on your house. But if you use it correctly, your house can be a fantastic source of income. You can use it to make money on Airbnb or to leverage free holidays. I've got a video on that right there, by the way. But the best way that you can use your house is to use the capital appreciation to buy more assets. In the UK, at least, house prices are only going one way in the long term. Up. They're going to increase. Correct me in the comments below if I'm wrong, but the house prices in every area of the UK are now above what they were in the financial crash of 2008. All you had to do was hold on, not go broke, and your house would have been worth more now than it was then. If you own your own house, then you can use that capital appreciation to buy more assets. That's how we got started in Buy to Let. We remortgaged our house, took a huge chunk of equity out, and used it as a deposit for our first Buy to Let flat. A mortgage is the cheapest loan you can get, and as long as you're using for good, like buying assets, rather than for dumb, to buy consumer purchases, then you're going to do absolutely fine. You can use it to fund your life. Lifestyle. And that is a fantastic way to make extra money in your 20s. With 95% mortgages now available, you can just crack on. This one could be a little bit controversial, but another way you can make extra money in your 20s is to find a great spouse. Your relationship with your spouse is way more important than money, and finding a good one can make or break your financial future. Marry someone who will help you financially. Now that could mean encouraging you to spend more if you tend to live on the too frugal side of things. We have been here two and a half years and we have no friends furniture and that's because I only buy things if they're cheap. But at the very least, marry someone who is supportive of your financial decisions and you can encourage one another. Now here's a relationship tip which you didn't ask for which should definitely be tailored to your own personal situation. But instead of getting hung up on finding the right person, focus on becoming the kind of person that somebody else would want to marry. And when the time comes, don't set your sights too high and make it work. Marriages take work, so make it work. If you haven't switched off already and hit the dislike button after my last point, then here are five ways that you can start making extra money in your 20s right now. Unless you're not in your 20s. But you can still do it right now. When I was editing this video, I realized this video is getting pretty long and there's still a whole load of good tips still to come. So I'm going to cut the video here and we're going to have part two next time. If you're watching after next week, then you can just click on that bit there.